So I like doing nice things for people who are less fortunate. So I got this 360. Oh, when was it? Last Christmas at Target during Black Friday. And it's just been taking up space. I kind of bought it as an extra 360, but I'm not really that interested in gaming anymore. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, here we go. I hope nobody sees me. Yesterday, after my not first video, I went out and took a bike ride and got these shots. Then I packed up a 360 and a Kinect and took it over to the Yeti's, the Yeti and her four kids, Brandon, Alex, Michaela, Dylan. Okay, so there's a bit of a backstory on this Kinect, which I'm not really sure that I want to tell you about because it has a negative connotation, like, um, like how I bought it for the Yeti's kids for Christmas, not last year, but the year before, and probably keep the camera up there so you aren't looking at my nose and, and then how they hooked it up and played it and uh, the the small ones were going nuts over it and then the, the the bigger one was like no we need to do something different here and then I end up finding it out in the garage you know and, and then I was like well it, 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 it was in a box in the garage so I was just like So I just kind of took it back and have kept it ever since. And right now when I'm going over there, I'm gonna take him this 360 and put it, pack it up all nice. Yeah, I, I put the zoom on it so they can play closer to the TV. I just got that a few days ago up at Walmart, which I, standing in line at Walmart, there was, the guy didn't have pennies. And I, I was doing that thing where I'm like, not in real life I'm like way off in my head and, and then all of a sudden when he started to leave to go get pennies after probably three minutes of standing there wondering what to do um, I, I just kind of snapped back to reality and like I don't care about three pennies so yeah I hate pennies not just pennies all coins coins suck all my money should be ones and zeros Okay, I got it all packed up and ready for transport. Just one last thing. It's never about the money with me. Except for when it's about the money. And then I'm gonna emo and you should just ignore me. I need a business card and I really wanted them to draw me something that I could use because I, I really don't necessarily like my own designs. Michaela drew me a B. Can you see that? B and the Yeti just did something really cool. Okay. Oh. And let's see. Brandon did this. I'm I'm not really sure what that is. He said he wanted an afro when he grew up. And then there's like I think that's supposed to be his older brother. And that's that's him with an afro there. And, um, and I really kind of gave them outlines to like something they love, something they hate, um, and then two things they like. And Brandon did clowns. He he doesn't like clowns, so that's gonna be really cool. And, and then he likes carrots and puppies and. Uh, he loves his dog, Sassy. And, um, let's see. And then, uh, amazingly, his older brother, Alex, 
did that he loves Sassy too, and I, I think that's a pencil that he likes, and like Dr. Pepper or something, Pepsi maybe, Pepsi, yeah, and then Dr. Dr. Pecker, that's, that's, that's kind of funny. And then he, he doesn't like chocolate. And then I'll mess around with Photoshop and get all those nice and business card-like. So that made me feel much better. Uh, here's Michaela. Which will never happen. I, I make a pretty good horse. Yes, you do. <laughs> here's Michaela dancing on the table. I kind of posted that video out of anger, and I, I don't really like to do that. I'm not really an anger type of person, but really the only reason I was angry about it in the first pla place is be the only really the only reason I was angry about it in the first place was because I just discovered the new Photoshop stuff. Like I didn't even know about Premiere Pro before a couple weeks ago, um, or like a week ago. Uh, and audition, and I, I haven't even got into like After Effects and all those insanely cool things. I got Lightroom. That's kind of cool. So if if you're interested in video editing, they have an amazing lineup of software. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for the cloud myself to actually buy anything because fifty dollars a month for all their software is just way too good of a deal. But if you haven't checked it out and you want to get into it, I suggest. Um, I suggest searching on YouTube for Premiere Pro tutorials or audition tutorials. It, they're, they're really just amazing works of art in their own self. Oh, I almost forgot. DFTB. 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 Don't forget to be awesome. And here's an outtake that I just found hilarious. DFTBA! DFTBA. Here's one of the segments that I did before I started having problems with Premiere. So I want to know, what do you guys like about this video? What didn't you like? How can I make it better? Do you have any questions for me? Is there anything you'd like me to talk about? Really, I'll talk about just about anything. From string theory, you think we live in three dimensions? There's actually 10, or 11, or 26. And I think I remember hearing nine and five in there somewhere too. Folding towels. Fold the towel lengthwise, then fold it in half. You still have extra fold it in half again. Yay, you got this far into the comments without skipping. I'm not giving you back the last four years. If you haven't ever heard about Casey Neistat, this guy's my idol. You should go check him out. Also, the Vlogbrothers do an amazing job at getting two or more videos out a week. And they're pretty hilarious, informational, and educational. You should go watch all of them. If you haven't checked out Crash Course, you should probably go watch that too. So Hank told me it's all about the eyes. So what do you guys think? Should I shave? My eyebrows? <laughs>